The AEW World Championship match for Full Gear is now set. MJF will defend the title against Jay White following events that took place on Wednesday's Dynamite. The Guns and Juice Robinson at first came to the ring and called out MJF, accusing him of being behind the attack that ended last week's Dynamite. MJF came out, but it soon ended up being a trap as Jay White attacked MJF and laid him out with the switchblade. Jay White then took the AEW Championship and told MJF that the people deserved a real champion and challenged him to a match for full gear on November 18. MJF managed to recover enough to accept his challenge. The two first came across one another last week when Jay White entered the ring after Adam Cole announced that he needed surgery on his ankle and would be out of action, leaving with Roderick Strong. MJF and Jay traded words, with Jay making it clear that he was coming after the AEW World Championship. At the end of last week's Dynamite Masked Figures attacked Jay White backstage, one wearing MJF's devil mask. MJF has denied it was him behind the attack. Wardlow is back in AEW. The former TNT champion made a surprise return to the promotion after nearly four months off TV in an unannounced squash match on Wednesday's Dynamite Anniversary Show. Wardlow defeated Griff Garrison by referee stoppage after hitting a series of power bombs. It was the first match for Wardlow since dropping the TNT Championship to Luchasaurus on the debut episode of AEW Collision back in June. And several matches have been added for Title Tuesday. As revealed during this week's Dynamite John Moxley will return to the ring on Tuesday, October 10th in challenging Ray Phoenix for the International Championship. The bout is a rematch from Dynamite Grand Slam where Ray Phoenix defeated Moxley for the title in a match where Moxley suffered a concussion and called an audible on the finish of the bout and put Phoenix over. A TNT Championship number one contenders match has also been added to title Tuesday as Brian Danielson will face Swerve Strickland. Both Danielson and Strickland were winners and singles matches at Sunday's Wrestle Dream pay-per-view. The top contender to the AEW World Championship, Jay White, will also be in action on Title Tuesday, taking on Hangman Adam Page. In another new Title Tuesday bout, Chris Jericho will face the newest member of the Don Callis family, Powerhouse Hobbs. Hobbs joined Callis on Dynamite this week in a beatdown on Jericho and Kenny Omega. Already announced for Title Tuesday are Adam Copeland's in-ring debut against Luchasaurus, plus a women's world title defense with Soraya defending against Hikaru Shida. And in case you missed it, NXT next week will feature appearances from some of WWE WWE's biggest main roster stars. Braun Breaker will face Carmelo Hayes next week. On Tuesday's show, Hayes revealed that he had gotten a phone call from John Cena and announced that Cena would be cornering him for the match next week. The show ended with Paul Heyman appearing not happy that Carmelo Hayes has been getting advice from John Cena. He declared that he would be in Braun Breaker's corner next week. It was also confirmed that Cody Rhodes will be making an appearance with announcers saying he will have a major announcement. Announcement. Asuka will face Roxanne Perez thanks to a call from Kiana James, who pulled Roxanne Perez out of the ring, costing her a three-way match that could have earned Perez a future title shot. Kiana later revealed in a backstage interview that she cost her the match because she did not want Roxanne to win any more championships. She then announced that if Roxanne could defeat Asuka next week, Roxanne would get a match against her. Next week's NXT is said to go head-to-head -head with AEW Dynamite, which will be moved to Tuesday due to MLB coverage. Also on NXT, just as quickly as he lost in, Dominic Mysterio regains the NXT North American Championship. Mysterio defeated Trick Williams on NXT thanks to the entirety of the Judgment Day appearing and frequently interfering towards the end. Trick Williams did his best to attempt to ward them all off, but a bout shot by Finn Balor ultimately sealed his fate, allowing Mysterio to become North American Champion for his second time following a frog splash. At Saturday's NXT No Mercy, Trick Williams had defeated Dominic Mysterio in a match that didn't have Rhea Ripley or any other members of Judgment Day in his corner. On Monday's Raw, Rhea Ripley made her return after an absence and told Dominic he'd get another shot at the title on Tuesday. She threatened him, saying that if he didn't bring the title home, to not bother coming home at all. Lyra Valkyra is set to get a crack at the NXT Women's Championship. Valkyria defeated Indy Hartwell and Roxanne Perez in a three-way match to become the new number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. With the win, she will now face Becky Lynch on the first night of NXT's two-week Halloween Havoc event, which begins on October 24th. Becky Lynch is currently out of action after successfully defending the title at NXT 
Joaquin No Mercy this past Saturday, defeating Tiffany Stratton in an Extreme Rules match. She was set to defend the title on Monday's Raw against Tegan Knox, but was pulled from the match after receiving a cut from the Extreme Rules match that required stitches. The match is now set for next week's Raw. WWE NXT ratings got a post No Mercy bump on Tuesday night. Tuesday's episode of NXT averaged 857,000 viewers on the USA Network, up from the 636,000 viewers the show drew last week. This is NXT's best viewership total since October 2020. Adam Copeland has numerous future opponents in mind now that he is in AEW. Adam Copeland told Sports Illustrated recently that he and WWE had reached a place where we'd done all we could do. However, future matches in AEW against wrestlers such as Darby Allin, Sting, Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay have the 49-year-olds excited about the future, as does the possibility of wrestling for New Japan Pro Wrestling. He went on to say that the realization fully hit him when he was in the ring across from Sting. He said, I know WWE like the back of my hand. I know Edge, I don't know AEW. It's new to me, that is very exciting for me. It's like starting from scratch, but with a lot more experience. One potential opponent for Copeland in AEW is not a new matchup at all. Copeland confronted his longtime friend, tag team partner, and rival Christian Cage at Wrestle Dream. The prospect of him working with Christian Cage again was something that Copeland's daughters were particularly excited about. Copeland's first non-WWE match in 25 years has been scheduled for next Tuesday's AEW Dynamite against Luchasaurus. In other news, PW Insider reported that the early word is that Jade Cargill will be part of the WWE Raw brand. PW Insider added that Jade Cargill is scheduled to be at Fastlane this Saturday, though it isn't known if Jade will be appearing on television. A big match has been announced for the Impact Wrestling Bound for Glory Fallout show. Will Ospreay vs. Josh Alexander is now scheduled for the October 22nd television taping from Chicago. Alexander will challenge Alex Shelley for the Impact World Championship the night before at Bound for Glory. Should Josh Alexander defeat Shelley for the belt, his match the following night against Ospreay will be for the championship. Osprey will wrestle Mike Bailey at Bound for Glory. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for checking it out, and I'll catch you on the next one.